Hey guys, it's Lisa here, and, and in today's video, I'm going to show you two really useful skills that you can use while doing projects where you have to insert images. The first one being grouping, how to group um, uh, um, like a list of things together, and the other one is changing the order of images that you want layered. So for example, we're going to start with grouping. Uh, I chose to use one of my Google Classroom banners to demonstrate this. If you look over on the left, you see my, my cork board in the back, my apple on my desk, my nameplate, the globe. Okay, I'm behind the desk. Now, let's just say I wanted to move these things, especially this little nameplate. It's small to begin with, and obviously my name didn't come on it, so I had to insert a text box over it. It is a super pain with all of these other things around it, trying to click and get both pieces and then move them a fraction of of you know an inch to the right or the left so to make this easier for me i can just group all of them now i'm going to give you a word of caution just for the sake of making this easier when you have a background on first which is obviously usually what you start with the background it's a, a little difficult to group group things so what i'm going to do temporarily because I'm just going to copy my background and I just have an extra slide here. And I usually do that when I'm doing a project. I give myself an extra slide to store things that I temporarily need to move. And I'm just going to delete it from here. Okay, perfect. Now, next thing you want to do is make sure that you have the arrow here, the select arrow chosen. Okay, and then you're just going to left click in the corner. And I'm going to make sure that the box is at least touching all of the things. It doesn't have to be completely inside the box. It just has to be touching all of the things that I want grouped. And then you see there's a box around all of them now. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit group. Now, if I decide that I want to move this, all I have to do is just drag one thing and everything else comes with it. See, super simple. Okay, now for the, the next piece of this, which is changing the order of layered images. Okay, so here you see you have me on the couch, the painting is in the background, I have the lamp here on the side, and I'm really not happy with the way that that lamp looks in front of the, the sofa because it just, obviously it's a fake scene, but it, it makes it look not real. Okay, so I wanna move this. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to click the lamp. Now I can do this several ways. I can click the lamp go to where it says order, okay, and I'm gonna send it to the back. Okay, now you see the painting needs to be sent to the back as well. And you're going to have to play with this. Just remember, whatever order you put the images in your, your project in, the last one is always going to be in the front. Okay, so see, then I had to move her. I could also have chosen to move the couch all the way forward, and then I could have moved her forward again. Um, I, on some computers, and I don't know why, and mine is one of them, when I go to change the order, um, if you look here, it says bring bring to front, bring forward. Bring forward and send backward is just supposed to send it to the next layer. For me, it does nothing. So if that is you, this is the way to make sure you get it done. If not, you can just bring forward or send back and click it once, and it'll just bring it to the next layer of your project. Okay, so this explained how you can group and how you can change the layer order of your your projects. I hope that this helped. Oh, and actually, you know what, before we go, I do want to quickly just show you if you want to then bring your your background back, all you have to do is copy it and then you're going to paste. It's going to end up in front of everything that I know. Okay, I'm just going to right click, order, and I'm going to send it to the back. There you go. So that's how you group. That's how you layer your images, change the order. I hope this helped all of you. Make sure to like the video and to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my future videos. Take care, guys.